Diablo 4, being the latest game from the series, actually have pretty relaxed system requirements. And if you happen to have a computer that's not older than a few years, then you're up for a pretty good run, I'd say. But of course, not all of us are being blessed to play on the latest and greatest of hardware. And if your computer struggles a bit in the performance department, but you're still able to run and start the game, then I have some really helpful tips for you in this video. Starting up with tip number one, believe it or not, it's uh, pretty important how you position your desktop. Most of the systems out there come with some sort of cooling, being that front intake fan, rear exhaust fan, or maybe even some top mounted uh, fans on your case. So you should take advantage of some fan profiles on your computer to maybe play a little bit with the fan curve and just uh, bump them up a little bit so they provide more cooling for your computer. And then you should also leave adequate space for air to be able to go in and out of your case and not suffocate your desktop. And by doing that, you're gonna ensure that your computer parts are staying nice and fresh and they're being adequately cooled down and there aren't gonna be any performance degradation for your computer. By doing that, you're not going to increase the performance for your game, but at least you make sure that uh, you maintain the ones that you already have. And going into tip number two, this is going to be to update your Windows. And me, for example, I'm using Windows 10, and how you update it is actually pretty easy. So if I go over the start bar and I go into the settings menu, in here, under the update and the security tab, we have the option to check for updates. <clears throat> so if I click check for updates now, this is gonna check uh, over Microsoft uh, servers if there are any updates available for my Windows. And if there are, this is gonna download them automatically. Uh, so, as you can see, I'm already up to date, so nothing to download, but take a note that uh, whenever you do Windows updates, uh, your performance is drastically decreased and you most likely you have to restart your computer at the end of the update, so keep a note of that. And now for tip number three, this is going to be to upgrade your graphics card driver. As a time of making this video, there's three vendors out there on the market, and them being NVIDIA, AMD Radeon, and Intel. And me using an NVIDIA GTX 1070 graphics card, so how you update your drivers, you're going on to the respective websites. So me, I'm using NVIDIA, so a quick Google search away, we're just clicking into NVIDIA's website, and under the driver section, this is gonna ask for a little bit information from you for your graphics card, but I already had it filled up because I just uh, updated my driver. So if you click on search, this is gonna bring the latest available driver for your graphics card and you just download and install it. It's a pretty easy and straightforward process, so nothing to worry about. Now, this is gonna bring us into tip number four, and this is to play a little bit with the graphics driver settings. So if I open up my NVIDIA control panel, let it just load. So under the very first section, adjust image settings with preview. By default, this is set at balanced. All you have to do in this situation is to move the cursor all the way left until it hits the performance and then you just click on apply. Normally this uh, should uh, decrease the visuals a little bit, but don't worry about that. You shouldn't experience any visual degradation at all, so it's all good to go and safe to do as well. So once you have that uh, setting in your driver being changed, then you can go to tip number five and that's going to be under some properties for your PC. So in here you can see my current hardware and the system that I'm playing on and if we go under the advanced system settings, in here we got the performance tab and it says visual effects, processor scheduling, memory usage and virtual memory. So we click on settings and under the very first tab visual effects, all you have to do here is to click adjust for best performance and this is gonna make the windows uh, look uh, 
not as nice and not as fancy, but again, this is gonna free up some very important system resources for your computer, which can then be allocated to actually playing the game and maintain a good performance in it. There's a uh, one setting which I'd like to change myself while I'm in here, and that's gonna be to show thumbnails instead of icons. So I'm just gonna click on that and then click on apply and okay, and that's it pretty much for this one. After that, we're moving into tip number six, and then again, this is under the settings within Windows menu. So this time we're going under system, and in here we're looking for power and sleep. Once we're in power and sleep, then we move over to additional power settings. So you open up this menu. By default, this one should be set at balanced, but what you'd like to do in this uh, situation is to click on the high performance and enable the high performance profile. And what uh, this one is doing, it can increase the energy consumption of your computer, but it's gonna maintain the optimal clock speeds and performance of your CPU overall. So it's a good way to extract more performance uh, from your computer. Now we're gonna move into tip number seven, and this is going to be your drive. So if I open up uh, my computer, here we can see the drives that I have installed in my desktop. And uh, I have uh, NVMe drive, which is my main, where my operating system is being stored. And then I have another partition from that NVMe drive where I have few of my games. And I also have a SSD a SATA RAID array from few drives that are being shown as one because they are in a RAID array. This uh, SATA interface is of course the older one, so it's not as fast. And what I've done in this uh, situation is I have installed the game in my fastest drive available. And that uh, being the NVMe drive. So by default, uh, the uh, game is uh, wanting to install in C drive where your Windows is and you should definitely change that to the best uh, performance drive which you have enabled uh, in your computer and available at the time. So definitely take advantage of that and by doing that you're going to ensure that you have the optimal loading times, uh, move transition times in between levels. Whenever you enter a portal in the game, for example, you're not going to wait as much and ultimately the whole thing is gonna be snappier and much quicker to load. So yeah, definitely take advantage of your fastest drive within your computer. And now for tip number eight, this is going to be to maintain adequate free space in your drives. So as you can see at the moment, all my drives appear to be pretty healthy in terms of available free storage and they're all in the blue mark, which is good. But once you start to fill up your drive quite a lot and they get into the red mark, then this starts to affect the performance of your drive. And the fuller they are, the worse they start to perform. So you can experience a lot of slowdowns and things like that once you fill up your drive. So maintaining a good uh, amount of free storage space is pretty important to ensure that your drives are operating at their optimal capacity and efficiency and everything is running smoothly. And now for tip uh, nine, what we have here is uh, something unusual, but believe it or not, is uh, important to maintain a nice and clean desktop, especially on older computers. The more icons you have and the more clutter you have on your desktop, this is taxing your system additionally. So what you'd like to do is to keep the number of icons on your desktop to minimum and everything that you no longer use or you maybe don't need anymore or you don't even remember what it is actually. It's a good thing to probably delete those icons or if you still want to keep them, maybe just move them in a separate folder. So maintaining a nice and clean desktop actually goes a long way and it's a pretty good thing to do indeed. So yeah, highly recommend that one as well. And now for 
tip number 10, especially for those of you out there, which are still playing on 8 gigabyte RAM systems. I know in 2023, 8 gigabytes is probably the bare minimum in terms of RAM memory, but uh, it's still doable and possible to play the game even with such a low amount. So especially for you guys out there, this tip is very helpful and that is to eliminate any background processes apart from running your game and what this is going to do is uh, to keep all the resources available of your computer and allocate them to playing the game and running it nice and smooth and you don't want to have any background applications running while you're playing the game things like uh, web browsers things like launchers different game launchers things like that or maybe some other programs or software maybe music players basically you want to eliminate anything else apart from running the game and you just want to do one thing on your computer and that is to play the game only and nothing else so that way you're gonna maintain the best performance available from your computer and now this is gonna bring us to tip number 11 which is how to extract a little bit more performance out of your system of course this is completely free but uh, sadly not all the computers out there support it and that's going to be overclock so a uh, pretty safe range i'd say for every computer is to give it a 10 percent overclock and in many instances those 10 percent overclock can be the difference between the game being playable or unplayable for your current situation so, as I've already said, it's a pretty safe thing to do, it's also free, it just uh, requires a little bit of research and tweaking within the BIOS settings of your computer, but of course there's plenty of tutorials already on YouTube, so if your system is capable of doing overclock, I highly recommend doing so. One thing to keep in mind is uh, that by overclocking your hardware, this is gonna release even more heat within the case and essentially is gonna increase the energy consumption of your system as well. But again, if you have adequate cooling and if you positioned your desktop correctly, there should be nothing to worry about. And now this is gonna bring us to the last tip I'd say for this video and this is gonna be to change some actual settings within the game itself okay we're within the game now and what we can do in here is to hit the options menu and now we are under the graphics section of course what you can do in here is to lower down your screen resolution this is gonna help a lot with your performance especially if you happen to have a quite old graphics card which is not uh, having up to notch amount of VRAM that is. Then another thing which uh, you can do is to change the quality preset of your game. So me, for example, I'm playing on high settings, but uh, I can afford that with my current hardware. Of course, if you happen to be struggling not that much, you can lower that down to medium settings. And if you have uh, quite a lot of uh, troubles in the performance department, you can go into the low section. This is gonna make the game look uglier, of course, but it's gonna increase your performance. So it's a good trade-off nevertheless, at least I think so. And another thing you can take advantage of within the settings is uh, you can enable Fidelity FX resolution if your hardware supports it. You can enable as well, sorry, not enable, but uh, let's say you lower down your resolution and you lower down your quality preset to low, your game is gonna look uh, pixelated and not, got, not that good looking and you can take advantage of this slider then. That's the sharpen image slider and if your game looks way too pixelated you can increase that to let's say 15, 20, 25 or 30. So you can experiment with that, it's gonna make the game look a little bit uh, nicer overall. And I think that was the last uh, tip which I had for you guys and if you happen to follow those tips which I've shared with you, can guarantee you that uh, you can experience some performance gains uh, within your system and within your game so yeah thank you for watching stay tuned for the next one and i'll see you later bye